trying to recover it. Black sheet doing the three wheel stand there. Can't see it's down in an embankment pretty far. Should have put the wheel lift down first, but well, you told he said it wouldn't be as fun. He said it wouldn't be as fun, so they want to tear the trucks up tonight. There's Alan there, long-term <laughs> veteran driver. I've been out here for about an hour and a half. pretty deep down the embankment. I think truck number five seen better days. cousin there he's been driving for a long time that's what eight dollars and ten cents an hour would buy you <laughs> eight dollars and ten cents an hour well, it looks like they're making some progress the cables don't break here i think if we left they fill on each other <laughs> pretty good distance off the road too. So you can see it's a six lane highway. Tell me something, tell me something. How are you gonna charge a driver deductible when your truck had a blowout after he complained earlier in the day about a bump of tire? Yeah, I don't know. I know you probably can't see the wheels turn, but they're probably going to have to pull it up some and re-rig. Not the best well-lit area here, but I don't know if, yeah, you probably can't see the tree, but it did take out a tree, too. It's slowly coming up, though.
see if it would just need a tire or not. So I think they're probably going to just bend the bumper and the hood back out. And that, you'll probably see this truck on the road in the morning. Because black sheep never sleep. <laughs> So, Kurt, I do not think so. I wish there was a way I could get you more light here, because I'd really like you to see everything. But they're hired. <laughs> yeah, eight, ten an hour. They're hiring. No sleep. <laughs> I talked to the driver briefly before he left in the ambulance. So I don't know. Can you guys hear sound or no? What the driver says, the truck had a right steer blow, blowout, and he was empty. I guess ran off the shoulder of the road. It was his third day on the job with this truck. I don't believe this it is a 2016 small. Ford, the V10 Jardan, with a wheel lift flatbed. I do not believe this to be his fault. I believe maybe he was a little tired when this happened. But I don't believe These trucks fall. run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hold on, and if you mess up and take a weekend off, you got to work 10 days straight to have another day cousin, off. <laughs> my cousin tried to go to work or apply there. Don't mess up and take a weekend off. They, they call it, if you take a Saturday and Sunday off here, they call it uh, messing up. <laughs> and then you'll work 10 days straight before having any days off. No, this is not a guardrail here. It's actually a wood fence. If you see this, and then if you look out over here, that's a six-lane highway, 98 South, which runs in between Bartow and Lakeland. Very busy road. I think the wheel lift's toast. Hold on, I think some steel just hit me in the face. has a V10 in it and it's knocking very bad now. Yep. Sounds like it's running hot. Yep. I think that's pretty, this, this truck 
here has about 80 to 90,000 miles on it. If that. No, they don't have lights out here. It's a white truck. It's one of the new ones. They don't have any kind of floodlights on these trucks. I don't know why. operating the wheel lift that's only been on the job two days in training, never ran a truck before in their life. The whole wheel lift is like going up and down, like I know you guys can't see it, but float I know. I'm not the one operating. I don't know. They're running the show out here. I guess. <laughs> it just shut off. The truck apparently overheated the V10. So it's under just winch power at the moment. why I can't turn the lights on on this. It's almost out, guys. almost the beds even with the boom on the winches now. They're close to getting it out. The bed, the quarter of the bed and the wheel lifts over the pavement here. This is a trail that goes it's a hiking trail that goes in between Highland City and Lakeland and Bartow. Dumps out over on 98. Put on the brake. They're re-rigging now. 
like the managers inside the truck. They have a double J hook. I think they replaced the floodlights with brake lights on this truck. It's very dark out here now. Yes, it's a 2016 Jerdan Ford flatbed with a wheel lift option. The 2016 was high mileage and it hasn't been in the fleet very long. I posted pictures on a post a little earlier. I was hoping it they would do the rescue a little sooner. The driver was apparently on DPS, they said, running approximately 65 miles an hour uh, from the red light, which is about a mile down the road. And when he had the blowout, I guess the, the truck went off the, the road to the right, just continued and went through a wooden picket fence here. You can see it. Okay. Yeah. Release it. But this is pretty pretty much it's almost out of here as long as one of the winches don't break. The new driver said it's been breaking, you know, a lot. Yes, it has high mileage already as a 2016. This truck runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The drivers average about two to three hours of sleep, if that. How many miles were on this truck? Like 60 or 80,000 already? Yeah, 60 and 90,000 already on this 2016. I know that the driver tire is bald on the driver's side so I can only imagine what the passenger side was and from the looks of their truck it looks like the service is last on the list because the 6-0 that they have winching this thing out sounds like it's running on about four to five cylinders. I've seen this truck and I know everyone else in Lake has seen this truck rolling around with no food and everything else. Yeah this truck was built up the, the rescue truck. It's about to the halfway point, but the frame is just now over the hump there. So it's probably going to rip the running boards off. Coming up again. 23. Tell them to keep them posted on the drive. 
Yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on the driver. We'll My cousin knows him. My cousin knows him. You know, the towing industry around here, everybody's pretty much familiar with everybody. did he go to? Uh, Lake and Region. cops left they were already frustrated with how long it took so they left it's off the road a good ways so now they're having a hurdle here to get it over this Put your brake on, Mike. they're stuck on this little hurdle here